Hello, in this video, I'll show you how to color grade and get the best kind of skin tones or skin color when it comes to Photoshop. So, this is going to be a skin tone color grading kind of video that is going to teach and enlighten you how you can easily achieve better skin tones for your images in just Photoshop. And in case you want to download this for image practice and follow along with, simply check the link in the video description to download this raw image follow along so for this we are going first of all come to the background layer and create a copy from the background layer by pressing ctrl j or you can use command j or you can simply drag and drop on the new layer icon to create a new layer once you have created that layer you can see that the background is different from the skin tone or the skin color so for this what we have to do we simply have to come right here to select and we are going to come and select the subject. The reason for selecting the subject is simply because we want to limit the color grading only on the model skin and we don't want the color to spill over to other areas like the background. That is why we have selected a border or boundary for the model by selecting the model herself. Once we have done or once we are done selecting the model or the subject in this case, we are simply going to come and create a layer that is going to be containing the color grading. So we are going to create the first layer for our color grading. So I'm just going to come and get the new layer icon and create an empty layer. Once I've created that empty layer, we can name it to skin tone, skin tone matching. So after renaming this layer, I'm just going to come and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color. After changing the blend mode to color, we are simply going to come right here to the brushes, get the brush tool. And for the brush tool, once you select the normal brush tool, make sure the settings for the brush tool are as follows. So for this, ensure that the hardness of your brush is set all the way down to zero. So click and drag to zero. Then ensure soft round brush is selected because as you're trying to paint the skin tone color over the subject, we, wa we don't want any kind of harsh edges during the painting process. That's why we have to select the soft round brush. Ensure or make sure that the blend mode is set to normal. Opacity is 100% and flow is also at 100%. So with this skin tone matching layer selected, we are just going to sample a color on the skin that we want the rest of the skin to look like. So here is the tricky part. If you choose a color that is very very neutral or desaturated you may not be having the best results so just look for that kind of warm color so for this i'll just choose a warm color on the skin so i'm just going to sample around this area that is where i have a warm color or an oversaturated color on the skin tone so all down option click on the keyboard option and click on that color option and click on that color alternate in case you're using windows so option click and after sampling that color we now have to paint the color on the skin so we just have to simply paint over the skin so you can see it is painting the color over the rest of the areas of the model skin so i'll paint the color quickly and you can see as soon as i start painting you can see the rest of the skin is now having the same color but this is not the end of this kind of process because we later have to make the skin look natural and look realistic and i would always recommend that you do or you always do this step after doing the skin retouching on your subjects or on your models for that case so i'm just going to paint like that and in short i've painted every single area that has or contains skin color or skin tones in this case so i'm just going to paint like that so you can reduce or increase on the size of the brushes by using the square bracket keys on the keyboard to increase or reduce on the size of the brush tool depending on how big the area you are trying to paint on is. And you can zoom in by using Ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use Command plus on the keyboard to zoom in in case you want to paint on a very very small area or on a tiny area. So ensure that you keep away from painting the eyebrows and some areas like the eyeshadows. 
in case the model has makeup so for this this is a natural look so i'm just going to paint every area that has or contains skin tone so don't forget the ears so i'll paint majority of those areas that have or contain skin color or skin tones i know now at this point you may be wondering the skin looks too yellow or too orange but i said we are going to be perfecting this later on so ensure that you zoom all the way in in case you want to paint on a very tiny area of your photo or a very tiny area of your skin so i'm just going to use command minus to try to zoom out and ensure that i've painted majority of the areas that have skin paint only on what you feel is skin and don't paint on the hair of your model or the hair of your subject once you're done painting majority of these areas that have or contain skin color or skin tone we are going to be perfecting the color right now the color is all over the place and the skin now looks a little bit too yellow or too orange so for this point in case you have many photos ensure that you understand that this color is always going to be selected every single time you are trying to select or sample color on the model skin so in case you have the same number of photos from the same model in a given shoot you can always come back to this color once again and paint it over all the images so once we're done painting the color of the skin tone over the model skin first of all come to the opacity and click on opacity and reduce the overall opacity of the color and as you can see this tends to reduce on the amount of orange color from the model skin but this is not all so in case you have painted colors from er or into areas that you did not want to paint in the first place you can get the eraser tool ensure a mode is set to brush opacity is a hundred percent flow is also hundred percent and you can erase color from those particular areas that you are not meant to paint in the first place so after reducing the opacity press command d or you can use ctrl d to deselect the active selection so at this point we just want to fine tune the color so it can look natural and a little bit more realistic so what are we going to do we are going to come to the adjustments and create a hue and saturation adjustment layer then we are simply going to come and make sure we come to master then come and click on red so that you can select the red so in case i've been painting the skin tone color and it's looking too greenish or reddish you have to play around with the hue slider in this case so in case the skin is looking too reddish move the hue slider towards the right hand side to introduce more greens and in case it is looking too green you can move it towards the left hand side to introduce in more reds that is going to eliminate the green color from the skin tone so i'm just going to leave mine the way it is then i'll come to where you see lightness under the reds in hue and saturation and take down the lightness of the reds just like this and this is going to reduce on the amount of oranges especially on the model skin and you can as well come and reduce on the saturation just like this to reduce on the amount of the saturation on the skin area and you can as well clip this effect to affect the skin tone area by clicking on the clipping mask and this is going to affect our skin tone but for this case we don't have to clip the effect to affect this layer below so i'm just going to take the lightness lower like that and in case i want to fine tune this i can just come and take down the saturation a little bit then you're going to come and create another adjustment layer which is the black and white adjustment layer come to the blend mode and change it to multiply remember the multiply blend mode is going to darken the image so ensure that you come the opacity and reduce on the overall opacity of the multiply blend mode just like this i feel like at about let's go with around nine percent you can say before and after so in case you're not satisfied with the results at this point you can come and create a color balance adjustment layer so under color balance you can introduce in a given color regarding the midtones the highlights and the shadows of your photo or of your image so for this i'll just come and add a tiny bit of cooling to the midtones by adding a little bit of blues 
and I also add a little bit of greens to my mid-tones just like that to introduce in a little bit of greens to the mid-tones and you can as well come to the highlights and you add whichever color that you feel like adding to the highlights just like that I feel like that is okay and cool down the highlights in case you want cool the highlights so right now we have a better looking kind of skin color or skin tone for our subject after this you can as well add another hue and saturation adjustment like in case the skin is looking too unnatural select the reds and you can come to the lightness and reduce on the lightness of the reds just like that to around negative three is okay before after let's just take it lower to around negative five so this is what we have been able to achieve at this point so let's see the overall before and after for the color grading process of this very image so you can see this is the image before after before after before after look at how nice and natural the skin color or the skin tones have gotten to be and one bonus tip you can as well create a selective color adjustment layer come and select on the blacks and introducing a little bit of science to the blacks just like that and this is going to make the blacks a little bit better and cool down the image so this is it for this video i hope you have learned a thing or two from this kind of video and in case you haven't learned a thing or two you can let me know in the comment section and don't forget keep practicing and as well keep creating